What's up guys, Godzilla back with another video. In this video, we're looking at our weekly Destiny newsletter this week at Bungie. Uh, this week we got a lot of information to cover, a lot of changes and things happening as well as a new event that's coming. Uh, but real quick at the beginning here, they give you kind of a reminder that this week is the Faction Rally. So if you haven't been to the tower, haven't played this week, we are doing the Faction Rally. And it gives you a chance to get more shaders and gear from each of these factions. And uh, we'll see who wins on Tuesday to see if we get any of their loot. Uh, moving on from that, they make a big announcement that people have been wanting to know for quite some time is are they going to allow HDR and 4K gaming on the Xbox One X as well as the 4K enhancements on the Pro and it, they are. They've said that uh, by December 5th when Osiris comes out they're going to allow high dynamic range to be on both consoles as well as adaptive 4K resolution for the PlayStation Pro and then real 4K for the Xbox One X. So for those of you who got 4K monitors, 4K TVs, and you've been waiting, the time is coming. I just got me a 4K TV, so I'm going to be putting it on there with the Xbox just to see what it looks like. Um, and I'm super excited about that. Next, we have a new event coming uh, called the Clarion Call. And basically, it's going to be a double XP weekend on November 17th. And it's going to start at 10 a.m. Pacific, so 12, East, or 12 Central, um, 1 Eastern, to November 20th, uh, ending at the same time. So basically, if you're going to be playing, this one is basically for clans. So if you're playing with fellow clan members, you'll earn double XP. And it says there at the bottom that there will be one for solo players later on. Then there's also some talk here about guided games and the chat features. So they're going to be trying to enhance chat in guided games as well as having an area in the tower where you can chat with other people and actually having a clan chat where you can chat with your whole clan if they're online which I think is amazing and really needed in the game and it's something they've been wanting to do for a while so they're working on it now. And they do mention here about why there aren't checkpoints in guided games. They didn't want people to try to farm checkpoints from people and then drop out. Um, and I can understand that so it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, they talk more about the uh, why can't players talk to their clans in game chat um, and then they'll they're talk about improving the chat functionality. And then, of course, they bring up the emote wheel again. Uh, we're going to have it coming out very soon. I hope sooner rather than later, maybe with Osiris. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun having different emotes to use all at the same time. And then finally, the heartbreaking part uh, that really I don't like, but I'm going to have to deal with it anyways, um, is the new reset change. So no longer is reset going to be on Tuesday mornings at 4 a.m. Central, uh, 5 a.m. Eastern, or 2 a.m. Pacific. It is now going to be 9 a.m. Pacific on Tuesdays, which means that it'll be 11 a.m. for me at Central and then 12 p.m. for you Easterners over there. And then you can look at all the rest of them there, and they even have a link here to figure out what your time is going to be. But man, this really hurts me. It's easy for me to get up on Tuesday mornings, and make the video, go back to sleep, and then go to work or do what else I need to do with um, YouTube or, or even, uh, what is it, uh, school every day. So moving it to 11, especially next year when I'm in my rotations and I'll be at the hospital every day, that means that I'll no longer be able to do the reset for you guys just because I won't be here to do it. So it kind of hurts me, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit because that's really one of my favorite things to do every week is to make the reset video. So now it's kind of knocking that out of my uh, weekly event thing. So I'm going to have to try to find something to replace it with. Uh, hopefully the raid for Curse of Osiris will be truly amazing and I'll be able to have some content from that. I haven't done anything on Leviathan, which I know it kind of sucks and it probably hurts me a little bit, but man, it, sh it just doesn't look very fun. <laughs> I'll be honest, and I've said that a lot, but uh, you know, we'll just, we'll adapt and we'll change. So whenever this comes up, we'll, uh, we'll make the best of it. And I hope you guys will too. I know a lot of people out there are used to getting up at reset time with their buddies and actually doing all the activities before they go to work. So this is going to hurt a lot of people, but it also is going to help a lot of people. I saw Datto on Twitter saying that, you know, it'd be nice for him now to be able to just wake up a normal time, do the video, and not have to go back to sleep in the middle of the morning. Which, for someone who does YouTube full-time, that makes total sense. So, maybe I will have that uh, advantage one day. Uh, maybe if this starts to work out a little bit more in the future. But, we'll move on from that. I won't hold on this very long just because I don't play on PC. But, for you PC players out there, there's a lot of stuff they're working on for you guys. As far as frame rate, uh, shutters and, or stutters and hitches, and then game uh, general gameplay crashes. So um, I'm sure they're wanting to really perform well on the PC just because you're going to have a lot of players there um, that are coming on board that didn't play Destiny 1 and a lot of people from consoles that just are transferring over because it's so much more buttery smooth as far as gameplay and visuals. So I can understand them wanting to put a lot of support into the PC. And then they've got the movies and that's pretty much it. 
So we, we've had a lot going on this week. We've got Faction Rally this week. We've got a new Clarion Call event coming. We've got a new reset change. We've got a new DLC coming very soon. And finally, they'll start their first stream um, talking about Curse of Osiris in Season 2. And it will be on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific. So that's going to be 1 uh, Central, 2 Eastern. So if you're looking to watch that, you can hit up their Twitch channel. It's Bungie. Uh, or uh, Twitch.tv slash Bungie, I think. Uh, but they, it's easy to find. They're the only one on there that's got a lot of followers. So uh, I, I will be at work at the time, so I'm going to have to record it once I get home to make a video on it. But the next week, it'll be on a Tuesday, so I will be able to record that. But I hope it's been insightful, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the reset change. Um, are you happy about it? Are you sad about it? And then also, what do you think about the Clarion call? It's just double XP, which I've, I've talked to some people, and they've said, you know, it's good for people to get their other characters up. Um, but what what are you, are you a person like me where you've already got three 305s and there's nothing to do and double XP means nothing to me? Or are you one of the people that, you know, you've done one character, you need to do other ones, and it's going to help you level those characters faster? Uh, remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys, and I will see you in the next video.